give you to the count of... Time's up! Jinx, one of my favorite champions is currently a meta queen and I've been grinding on this deck to top 100 in master. The high skill ceiling makes it interesting to play for hours and its bad matchups don't feel like a dumpster fire either in my opinion. The deck is perfect for climbing right now. There is a tight balance in this deck between discarders and discard fodder. These cards used in tandem helps the deck to not run out of cards while getting free units, burn damage, powerful effects or mecha yordles. Bird is a contested slot but I love it because if the chime drops on a unit like Lulu, Daring Pora, Squeaker or Flame Chompers they can swing the game and make defending against this deck really awkward. Pocky Stick is here for cycling, a little touch of burn or removing the opponent's units to swing more damage. Lulu is here to squeeze value out of the cheap units for broken combos like getting a 4-4 Challenger or 4-4 Elusive. This deck abuses Biggle Dust with cheap or free created units. It's seen as a 3 of right now but I like it as a 2 of with a 1 of Telstones to prevent bricking and increase versatility. All of the picks from Bandle Telstones are useful in this deck. Electro Harpoon is amazing burn and removal that can fix hands with too much discard fodder or help level Jinx. Heroic Refrain is a mini big dust. Yordle Contraption can be an amazing hand refill when you need discard fodder or cards when you don't have Jinx or Jinx cannot reliably end the game. These units also have the plus side of Bickle Dust turbo buffing them since they are created. Telstones can also cheaply level Jinx just by picking a card from it with no other cards in hand. Jinx is the most important card in this deck and what this deck is built around. Leveling her is a priority and the sheer amount of value you get through the burn, draw, and quick attack unit is insane. Some optional cards that I've seen are Augmented Experimenter, Purpleberry Shake, Forge Chief and Mystic Shot. Augmented Experimenter is good but sometimes it can be awkward to play. With Pocky Stick, Rummage, Urchin and Mecha Yordles this deck already has good longevity before Jinx is played but I can see this card as a one of in the deck as control tech at some point. Mystic Shot is outclassed by Pocky Stick in this deck because it does damage yet draws a card or players would rather use its slot on more versatile cards like Bandle Telstones or Scrap Heap. I feel like we don't need Forge Chief because of the goated one drops that are already in the deck. A one of Purpleberry Shake is interesting as an option to blow out decks with removal, start up a Flame Chompers play or just getting your cheap units swole. If you wanted to try out these tech cards Bird, Zornai Turchin, Scrap Heap, Bandle Telstones and Rummage are some cards you can try switching out. General Tips this is an aggro deck so your mind should constantly be on the best line to do the most damage but not die before you can do so. HP is a resource that this deck can manage pretty well actually. Because we have an unending wave of chump blockers that are sometimes burst speed and spells that interact with the opponent's board. Sometimes it's good to take bad trades with units based on hand states if your board will replenish anyway without affecting your next attack. There are some key units like Aphelios, Enemy Jinx or Lulu that are worth removing with Get Excited and Pocky Stick sometimes if they are affecting our game plan enough. Think about what is the best use of Flame Chompers. Just because it is on the board doesn't mean that it needs to be traded down. Think about what it could pull later down like a huge unit nothing can trade with or stay alive after pulling a one attack unit, how many units you will have on board, if there will be anything to buff it, how much more damage are you getting and if the trades on attack are already pretty good for you. 
spend time thinking on the best support play for Lulu or Geode Mecha Force a weather removal through a buffed flame chompers or damage through a unit that is hard to block is more important. Don't be afraid to sacrifice a Lulu to get a good attack off though. Keeping her safe is not a priority in this deck. Try to make decks that use board wipes suffer by never giving them a good chance to use cards like Avalanche by not developing enough, open attacking, passing to burn their mana, well placed tiny shields, chimes and choosing bigger mecha yordles while keeping track of how much damage you need to do. Although we are keeping bird in the opening hand if there are other good plays and you are not losing out on good aggression try to save bird and play out other units so that the chance of him hitting a unit that will impact the matchup increases. Like playing bird on turn 2 after your other one drops are played so that you have two daring puras and lulu in hand and the chances of it hitting those units increases on the start of the next round. There are times when you have no discard fodder to use but you need to discard and go wide. Since, you need to end the game before they do. This deck does not have problems using spell mana but never burn mana without a good reason. In some matchups you need to bite the bullet. Burn the least useful card in order to keep applying pressure. Like discarding a second Lulu or another unit that discards. Instead of discarding or get excited when the opponent's health is low. There is a big emphasis on playing into what your top deck or the next card you draw is in this deck. Your hand could brick if you don't have any cards in hand and draw into a get excited or rummage so it's good to leave back fodder sometimes. Try to make Jinx as level up as uninteractive as possible so that you always get the rocket to burn people down. Remember that the discard is optional on your discard units for more weird lines to level Jinx. Wait for them to tap out of mana for removal or set it up so that Jinx can level on fast or burst speed in response to removal. Plan out the mana and card sequence of when you are going to play Jinx. Don't be afraid of discarding good cards in order to level Jinx if it is likely to be enough damage to win the game. Always be thinking about if Jinx can level in an upcoming turn and what if Jinx was top decked. I've had plenty of times where a bad choice on what card to create has lost me the game on this deck. They call these cards tiny but they are huge in the right situations. They can turn Squeaker into a raid boss, put units above removal ranges, buff up flame chompers to remove a chump blocker, be the one point of damage needed to win or act as discard fodder when my hand needs it. Don't be too hasty to use them when your hand is low on discard fodder though. I usually go for tiny shield into decks with more removal spells like control and tiny spear into decks without. The mecha yordles I have used the least are Earthshaker and Lil Dipper due to their cost and salty spinner because it is unreliable. Geode Mecha Forcer is huge as a fourth Lulu basically. Trumpet Share is like another big dust but be sure that you will have a board by the time you play it. Professor Von Mech is great but only use it when you are not in risk of losing soon. Need discard fodder, Jinx is not in hand or playing Jinx is unlikely to win the game. Dune Hopper Mech is amazing especially into control matchups because of its stats and ability to go wide when you have no units. Smash and Dash, Bouncer and Bolt especially with Lulu, Shadow Tech Walker if they don't have elusive blockers and Furry Horn Crasher if it isn't late into the game are just good picks. Try not to play Geode Mecha Forcer and Shadow Tech Walker into decks are likely to have quiet us though. Think about what is missing in your curve that a Mecha Yordle could help with in order to do the most damage possible. Squeaker itself can get to a pretty high attack if you sequence playing your created cards properly. Good and bad matchups. Lulu Jinx is weak to decks that have attributes like creating wide boards, access to board wipes, the ability to remove Jinx easily access to healing and elusive blockers. We are normally good into other aggro, combo and some taller mid-range decks that don't have reliable access to healing, a wide board or take long to end. We are bad into decks that fit this criteria like Atrox decks, Swain decks, Cat TF, Echo Shirama, Leona Aphelios, 
Vega Nora, Sejuani Gwen and Leon OSI for example. General Mulligan. Most of the time we are usually looking for our one drops, Lulu, and combos of discarders and discard fodder. The main idea is to set up an early curve that doesn't brick in the early game except for in bad matchups that require certain cards to win. I would keep one discarder in the opening hand without discard fodder but not two though. Jinx is basically never kept in the opening hand because she is a sitting duck if you can't level her as you play her. If I have Lulu I will keep Flame Chompers or Boom Baboon for the Lulu Chompers combo. Boom Baboon is okay if you have a one drop or curve but if you don't most of the times there are better things to draw if you are keeping it by itself. There are certain combo hands to keep like pour a cannon plus discard fodder or boom baboon and build dust into decks where you don't have to worry about your units being removed and you are attacking on turn 4. Into control matchups like SI or Seraphine, Bird, Yordle Squire, discard combos, Lulu and Squeaker are the main keeps. I would keep Squeaker into these decks even if I don't find anything good to discard because Squeaker can give you powerful cards that their removal is not suited for. One health units are valued less here into stuff like Make It Rain and Vile Feast so try not to keep too many in the opening hand although Bird and Yordle Squire are still valued because they can give health to other units. Look out for some gameplay videos with matchup specific tips coming in the near future on Lulu Jinx. The next one I'm working on is a video focused around the mirror. Comment below on any mulligan or other situations for this deck that you want advice on. Like and subscribe for more in-depth lore guides.